All right, guys. Um, so I wanted to do this video real quick before it got too late and got dark. Um, so, you know, I had the video I did in my bedroom. I had the prototype knife that I was showing everybody. I actually have some pre-orders. I had a couple of um, I had a couple of my subscribers ask if I was going to sell them. Um, I had a couple people ask. I actually have a few people that have asked, and I so I, yeah, I am doing. I, if you want them, if you ask me, I'll make them. I have five of them basically that I'm going to try and make this weekend. Um, sheaths will be pending. I had to order some Kydex. Um, I I'm learning how to do some Kydex. Hopefully this weekend. Um, I don't have enough kydex to do anything with yet uh i gotta wait on the stuff to get here but um so the finished prototype um it has a couple issues so this one is gonna have to i'm gonna play around with it this is the prototype of course so it's gonna be the one that has some issues this would never go out the door um i've been playing with it to see you know how well the ceramic holds up and everything um what it takes to scratch it and all that waiting on a package with some customer stuff in it that has, they said they tried to deliver it and I was here. So I don't truly know if they actually tried to deliver it. Um, so they all, they will all be sharpened uh, by me before they, before they leave. They're not just gonna be done on the, on the grinder. Um, we're gonna do a test run here, see if I can actually cut. I have, always have a hard time cutting on film. So, um, I already have a lefty that I'm gonna have to do, so I'm gonna have to reverse the grind. Um, when I sharpen them, yeah, that ceramic is gonna come off. Um, I ordered chains for the neck, necker, you know, the, the neck sheaths. I've got a couple people asking. Yeah, that chisel grind, the Kiridashi style, the chisel grinds that you do on them, they, uh, man, they get sharp. Uh, let me touch it up on a, while I'm talking to you here. Um, they get really, really sharp, uh, just because of the way they're, yeah, they, uh, they get really, really sharp just because of the way they're ground. So, I don't know why sometimes I just can't cut when I want to. So I am, if you're interested, you can just go ahead and reach out to me. I'll make them, um. So basically, what I had decided was, and this is the price I had told everybody so far, um, $100 um, gets you just the one color basic, one color with the neck sheath and the chain. Um, I tried to find black chains. I couldn't find any black beaded chain. There we go. Couldn't find the black beaded chain I wanted to use. Um, so the first ones, I may try to see if I can ceramic coat the chains. Um, when it cuts, it's off. <laughs> when it cuts the way I want it to, it's off frame. Ah well, it's it's you could shave with it. Um, I couldn't find the chain I wanted. Uh, it was all out of stock everywhere I looked. Uh, so what I did was I ordered a bunch of basically 24 inch dog tag chains. Um, I may try to ceramic coat them black. I don't know yet. So, but that's basically you're gonna have a, uh, a Kydex sheath. If you want the single color black, if you want multiple colors, uh, single color black is gonna run you $100 with the sheath shipped, sharpened, um, you know, basically as you see it to, I did this, finished this up on a 10,000 grit. Um, and I did, I knocked the tip off of this one. So, uh, 10, 000, sharpened up to 10,000 grit, which is stupid, stupid sharp. Um, so for the basic one color, if you want something like this, where I'm going to do a pattern and stuff like that, multiple colors, that's going to be extra because it takes a while because uh, you have to put a pattern on and you have to bead blast off the, the, you have to bead blast off the pattern and then reapply the ceramic. And if there's any flaws and you have to start all over, so that is going to cost a little bit extra. I'm, I'm doing it 120, but I'll do the spines a different color than that. So you see, if you want three colors like that, um, 120, two colors, 120, three colors, 120. I'm not going to do it anymore now. If you, if you want a leather sheath, I have not confirmed it yet, but um, I may be able to do leather sheaths 
but that would be a different cost because I'm not doing leather sheaths. I would have to have um, probably Robert Bodiger do that for me and whatever he quotes me as the price would be the price you pay, but you would get the Kydex with it. So the, the leather sheath would just be an addition. So you would still get the Kydex sheath with it. So um, yeah, just a quick update. Um, so yeah, I've got five of these, five of these that are definitely, ooh, ooh, you can see I, I've got a spot there where I got it into something. So um, five of these I'm gonna try and have ready to just have sheaths and things to do this weekend. Um, I'm not gonna have the sheath material. So I don't think I'll have them sharpened until I get the sheath material. Um, but at least I'll have, you know, patterns and things like that. Now, as far as patterns, there's like a circuit board pattern and there's some spirals. There's like a flame pattern that I could kind of do. It's going to be kind of hard to fit on this, but there's a circuit board and there's some like little half moons that I could put on it and uh, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to try and do some different patterns and take some pictures and post them on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's gunmonkey1974 on Instagram. I'm gonna post some pictures of some of the different patterns that I can use. And uh, so colors, uh, red, orange, black, green, blue, um, copper, I'm not forgetting anything, purple. Um, so just, you know, let me know if you're interested in them. Um, I don't think I'm gonna sell like a lot of these. But they are, I, I got to making them and I, the guys at the shop were like, that's pretty ergonomic. Robert Bodiger was like, it's pretty ergonomic. And I thought, you know, I had a couple people ask me when I put it on, you know, I put it on Instagram, I had a couple people DM me. I was like, hey, you gonna sell those? And uh, I thought, you know, well, why not give it a shot? So if you like them, and there's a couple of guys at, the work, at work have already asked about them and ordered them. That's where two of the orders came from, so. Uh, like I said, I can do left-hand side. I actually have two lefties that I have to make, so um, yeah. Just a quick update. Let's see. Now, let's, let's see. It's raining out here. It's raining here in San Diego. You believe that? What's in my pocket today? Let's see here. It is my Microtech. Let's see what it does. It's It just took a ride on my, uh, on my straps. Let's see here, it just took a ride on the straps and it's... This actually is still pretty much, let's see. Yeah, it's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's shaven sharp. But I was cutting corrugated cardboard with this just to test because like I said, we, we heat treated this up at Elliott's shop. I was cutting corrugated cardboard with this for about 15, 20 minutes, just, just chopping away because that's kind of what it's for. It's a utility knife. And it's my thought process behind this is was something that, you know, uh, for a neck knife is just more or less something that you've got around your neck so that if you're camping or something like that, you don't have to pull out the big camp knife that's over there that you're batoning and stuff with. You could use this for small stuff and so I have been scratching at it with with metal and stuff to see now I do know that yes it will eventually wear off in that kydex sheath I do know that and so if you want just straight metal I can do that too um, I can just do I can do just sanded flats and and leave the the sides be blasted so if that's what you want too. Um, just let me know. I can I can accommodate that as well. Um, so, like I said, let's see. Anything else going on? Ah, closing on this house that we've been renting. Uh, we are in escrow. I just, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot busy. It's been busy. I have a job interview on Monday for a job that will allow me some latitude to expand this, what I do here, and devote more to this. Um, because this is what I want to do, knives and sharpening and maybe make some knives. I've discovered that I kind of enjoy this. This is fun. This is fun. I like this. I didn't ever figure that I would 
enjoy this, um, but I made this. Nice. If I get my edge grinds down to where I'm not screwing them up, I, this I can do, uh, but a longer edge grind, and that's what these are initially intended to be with practice. Um, maybe after that I might make some more knives, but I don't think that I'll ever be doing near the volume that Robert Bodiger or any of those guys are. I think I'll do it for fun and every once in a while. Um, there will be a couple of these that uh, are going to be made for a charity auction on my friend uh, Billy's uh, site. Um, I think he's going to do them on his Instagram page for strategic defense. Uh, they're going to be a charity auction. We're gonna, I'm going to do three of these. Uh, I'm going to do them like some crazy sick pattern, maybe a blue and crazy copper and stuff like that. So um, I will, when I get ready to do that, I will show them here and then I'll put a link to that on there. Um, let's see, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, hopefully uh, the job interview I have on Monday will allow me to maybe to, uh, right around the beginning of the year, leave this position that, that I really don't like. Um, anything else? Yeah, no, I can't think of anything right now. If you guys have anything you want to see, um, I am going to start doing, um, I think I'm going to start doing the fan funding on YouTube if you guys wanted to start doing something like that. Uh, I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to do that, the fan funding, um, because I think there's some, there's some stuff to that that I'm not 100% sure about. Um, I would have to provide my business license and some stuff like that, so I need to look into that a, more, a little bit more closely before I just make the full decision that that's something I'm going to do. But it's an option to expand my channel and help my business. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. So like I said, that's after doing a lot of cutting on cardboard, on corrugated cardboard boxes with this. Um, so it's kind of a it's kind of a weird shape to look at, but even like I've got big hands and even with that small design, it doesn't feel like it's gonna come out of your hand. It's pretty comfortable and it sits pretty well. Like I like the way it, it just sits in that right there. I just completely by accident was really unhappy with the shape of this. And then I went back in and took some more metal off and then I was like, oh, that's actually Pretty comfortable. Uh, I was just gonna. I wasn't even gonna heat treat it. If you know the truth, I was just playing with it, and it was like I'm not even gonna heat treat it. And it was like, may as well. So, almost got my finger. Yep. So, let me know. I'm tired. I might go in and lay down. Take it easy, YouTube. You have a good evening. So once again, why do I review my videos? Um, so when I was talking about the basic knife um, for this, you don't have to have just black. It's it's $100 will get you any one of the basic colors. I said any one color, blue, black, green, orange, copper, purple. You do red, any one of those colors, one choice of color at $100. I apologize. I should have made that more clear but that's why I review my videos before I post them. So, uh, like I said, any one color. It doesn't have to be black. Black just usually is the typical popular choice. But if you want blue, I'll do blue. If you want orange, I can do orange. Uh, red, you do red, purple, copper. There's, I will, I will put an entire list of the colors together um, because I don't remember what they all are. There's, there's a whole bunch of them, and I might be missing some. Um, so, um, yeah, just like I said, I, I'm sorry I should have put that in there. Um, but I've got to go back now and edit and throw this in the video because I am a dummy. Y'all know this. You watch my videos. All right, y'all. Later.